Hey, we're James Shanes at the International Linkage of Poacher. James, great to see you here. Uh, the season so far, it's been uh, pretty much a, a whirlwind of a success, hasn't it? Really? I mean, how are you feeling about it so far? Um, but that amazing. I can't. I'm still living on the um, like the Team GB thing, and um, and with um, the European, I'm still living off that. And I'm just seeming to go strength for strength to strength at the moment, beating you a couple of times. You are, yeah, play, indeed, indeed. No, no. <laughs> I mean, I think we're starting with the World Team Cup. You kind of got thrown in the deep end there. Yeah. Um, you went there to, to, to provide backup for the team. And, and But it, was it a good learning curve for you? Oh, it was an amazing learning curve. I went out in each practice session. It was like I'd follow Angie, then I'd follow Glenn, then I'd follow Richard, which is a bit mistaken in the FN sometimes. <laughs> but, you know, I'd follow all of them, learn, learn their lines, and then sort of create my own little thing out of all of it. And, and it's a bigger so, track than you've ever, ever ridden yeah. before, so you've got a bit of experience now. You think that's helped you with it on the grass track going yeah, back I to think England? Yeah, I even going to Speedway, helping on Speedway. Like, you know, I go to Speedway track, look at them, like, I want to go back, I want to go back out there and like, come on a track like this. You kind of get that slightly different style. You don't know how to do it, it's a little bit different. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah, I mean, for, from going from Speedway, you, you kind of tend to lock up a little bit with the bigger tracks. You've got to let the bike run yeah, a bit. That's, that's, my that's quite a hard transition, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, trying to learn, go from Speedway, you're going back to the last time, then you get a long track, you've got to, not you got to try like road race and yeah. make a big arc, and that's what I struggled with a lot of it. My first session, I was going backwards, which doesn't yeah. work. And, and then later on, I got it. So. And then heading towards the European final, it was again pretty much the deep end. You, you unfortunately didn't have a great day at Swingfield, but you still managed to get there. And uh, and then, yeah. then well, tell us tell us about it. Well, I went there like I looked at my first race. I thought like, this is my hardest race of the day. Uh, I got third, and they wasn't. They wasn't miles ahead of me, you know. I wasn't miles behind him. It was. I was sat in the middle, and I was like, "All right, I can, you know, the SC final, B final. I'm happy with that." And then I won the race, and then won the next one, then beat Yannick, and I beat Yannick to around. I was like, "No, I'm gonna wake up, and I'm just gonna be. I'm gonna be wake up in the morning, do it all again." But went out for the final, and that was the longest wait I've ever had. You know, I think it was about an hour and a half, but it felt like all day waiting for the final and crossing the line of the final and. You know, go around the corner realising, like, you know, I've just got a second. Yeah. And look behind you and who's behind you, like... Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been there and I was like, I should have been that, but... Yeah. I don't no, know how I did it. Great, great. And you think, you think again, that, that's open for a few opportunities for you, getting second in the European, has that given you some more contracts to ride abroad? Yeah, they've given me a few and I've had a couple of offers from, like, people dropping out of meetings, but they've been, like, you know, next week and it's like, I'm already booked in for meetings next week and so yeah. So, unfortunately, but I can't do some, but I'm trying to do... Looking for next year, you can plan, plan, a, plan, a, yeah. plan, a, plan a plan of action, right, great stuff. And then going to today, how are you feeling about today? Out practice track feels good. Yeah, yeah, it does feel really good. I've got some wheelies going out of the back straight. Yeah. That was fun though. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going all right. So I just got to try. So confident about yeah, today. just got to get the setup. Good right. lineup, you know. There's, there's Andrew's yeah. going well. Yannick. Yeah, I've got some revenge for Yannick. I've got to try and beat him this time. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. And how about how about the Masters? What's the plan for the Masters? Obviously, win it. Go out there and that's, win that's, it. Yeah. That's the plan. That's, that's no, no, no second. You're pretty, bit. pretty confident that's doable. Yeah. It's, again, it's going to be down to whoever, whoever feels it on the day. You, know, you can win it, Andrew can win it, I can win it, and whoever wakes up in the morning feeling it is going to do it. So. Well, Hopefully I'm in that mood tomorrow. Well, I hope you have a great day too. Not too good. And uh, good luck. <laughs> Andrew, mate. Good luck. No beating me this time. <laughs> Try not to. Tim Nobbs at the Lincoln Chipotle. How are you doing, mate? All right? I'm good, mate. Good, Thank good. you. It's been a long time. I haven't seen much of you on the grass. What's, what's nah, been going on? Injuries and then, sadly, my dad passed away in the last year, so... We're just getting back into it. Yeah. We had, some, we had some problems with the setups just then, it shows how far we're out. Well, we get it right. Yeah. You, you still kept your enthusiasm for the sport? Yeah, you've got to do it. Yeah. yeah you got definitely. some new gear for, for this season? Yeah, then. we're going to give it a go now. Hopefully, next year we we'll do the time break into Europe. Is that, yeah. is that the plan for you to, plan, to, yeah. to head towards Europe and try and get oh, some meetings yeah. abroad? Come out with me, yeah. yeah. I'll come out with yeah, you. You had much, much interest from the tracks abroad? Yeah, it's um, that one the other Friday. A Miramont? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was going to do that, but we had yeah, we went all the way down. Yeah. They got rained off, which was which was great. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's the plan to head towards next year, looking yeah. towards getting a full calendar of yeah. European meetings and and British stuff. Yeah. You're going to ride ride more next year. Yeah, then. definitely. Okay. Definitely. And how how was it out there? You said you had some problems yeah. out there. Oh, all right, but we couldn't get the gear in right. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we should get it right by now. Yeah. And keep keep up with it. Well, <laughs> not not too, yeah. so too close. And uh, your Masters, you've got a wild card for the Masters yeah. Right here. Yeah. I mean. You know, like I said, originally I wanted to do the, the challenge, but I never had no grading points being out injured that season. Yeah. So they said, so do the wild cards okay, but at least I was willing yeah. to do it. Okay. But well, I would hopefully go there. It's all a, it's apparently it's level playing field because no one's been on it. No, it's a new track where it counts, yeah. We'll have a good fun We will indeed, we will indeed. And 
I mean, getting a bit serious about things now, I mean, is it quite hard to turn up to meetings without your dad? Like, your dad was a major part in your, in your team. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't want to upset you def- things, def- but he was, he was a massive guy in, in yeah. the team, and it's going to be a lot it's, different. They also gives you that bit of, as a name, as a target. I know he'll be watching, yeah. he'll be screaming in the ear, oh, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> And um, no, it's just I got I got an aim. That's what I want to do. He would not want to be to stop. So no, not at all. I mean, I was that close to stopping. Yeah, yeah. But it seems like you got a good team yeah. of guys helping you yeah. out now and stuff. And we're getting there. Yeah, get it all good. together. Just well, get the gear and right. Yeah. Well, all the best for today, mate. <laughs> and and see you at the Masters. All great the stuff. Boy. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yannick De Jong, European champion. Congratulations and great to see you at Lincoln Japocha. Thanks, How's your Paul. season been going so far? Well, it's been uh, going quite well actually. Especially on the grass track, mm-hmm. I've been uh, well. I haven't missed a podium until now, so that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> today, yeah. That's yeah. Today. So uh, yeah, well, the World Long Track Championship is uh, well a tough one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the first meeting in Herxheim, I uh, got outside of the track in my second heat, so I missed three points there. And in Einrum, I had one uh, well really bad start, and I tried to well do everything to to get me back. To the front, but sadly that didn't happen. So uh, it came third at Ingram, I think. Yeah, in yeah, total, yeah. yeah. But I missed. Uh, I had a zero in one heat, yeah. so that's already two heats this year with zero points. And the gap between uh, Jonas and me is uh, is getting yeah, bigger. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we only have two meetings left. Sam so. McKay is the next one. The twenty, is it the nineteenth? Yeah, Morris. Uh, Vecta, Mor- Vecta is the next one. And Morris. And then Morris. Right. Yeah. So. And now you're feeling about those. You you've ridden Vecta many times. So you, you think you can do a job there? I will do my best. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Fair enough. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to the European Championship. Like I said, European champion you are. Um, obviously, it must be great to win it on your on your home turf as well. Yeah, that was really good. Well, you were going quite well uh, oh, too, <laughs> actually. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Mr. Shane was giving yeah, me well, uh, spoke a, with good, James a good fight there. And uh, did that worry you a little bit getting beaten in one of the heats by by pretty much unknown, really? Yeah, but yeah. Well, we've all been there, you know. We've all beaten someone who was on top, and uh, when we were just well, young boys, mm-hmm. and I think this. Yeah, it's just really good that there are still some young riders coming up and uh, beating us. and uh, Keeps us on our toes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Absolutely. keeps us sharp. So, uh, yeah. I, think, I mean, the pressure must have been on slightly for the final. Yeah, yeah. On, yeah, on your course. home ground, on your home turf as well. It yeah. must have been. Well, he, t- he picked the outside gate, which, mm. uh, well, in my opinion, was a bad decision from him. But I think that's also the experience. Yeah, that's it. That's and. It. Uh, I made a good start from, from gate 5 and he was on the outside, he had a good start as well, but you, know, you can't go through someone, so uh, I had him on the outside and then I made a good good first corner and then I was gone. So. Yeah, good. And, and, and today you've been out for practice, track feel alright? Yeah, the track's really nice actually and uh, I was feeling good in practice, I, uh, I, well, I, I haven't a, a slightly changed uh, engine today, uh, I wasn't quite happy with it, so uh, I took it back to Bert and uh, we spoke about well, things we could do and uh, well, he's done a magnif- magnificent job, so I'm, I'm really happy with this engine. So I'm going to try if I can uh, win it today with this engine. Yeah. So, yeah. And how, how long is it since you were last at the poacher? Uh, two years ago. Two years, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. The bad crash with a thousand uh, right hand side car, so uh, yeah, I hope... Uh, yeah, we get spared from any bad, any bad accidents, accidents today, yeah. and uh, everyone can uh, ride hard and safe and fair. Yeah, and the spectators can have a safe, enjoyable, a watchable meeting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, great. Thank you very much for your time, and have a great day, and hope you do well in the World Championship as well. Thank, Thank you, Paul. Very much. And Cheers. you. Thank you. <laughs> Paul Johnson, great to see you. Paulie Cooper, nice to see you. Good stuff. You've been away from the grass track scene a little bit this year. Yeah. Riding wise, what's been going on? How come? Uh, I've been in prison for a year. Okay. Uh, for having big pistons in my engines and Was so. Still all right now. No. No. Can't you say? Oh. Yeah. Twenty-two stone when I left. Yeah. I'll be. I'll be. I'll I had a motocross injury and uh, it took a long time to recover. We had to have our tendons cut three inches out of each tendon because we elasticated them and. Yeah, the recoveries took so now to get back, and then obviously we've gone from different manufacturers from Suzuki to Kawasaki, and uh, wow, we. Yeah, that's one thing I was going to ask you. It's been a, this this Kawasaki has been talked about a fair bit through the yeah. season. You get a lot of riders chatting about it. Yeah, um, it's obviously a great scoop for you to, to land such, yeah, a, such a ride as Kawasaki. I mean, how did that come about? Uh, losing Suzuki, really. Uh, it's been sort of on the cards for a couple of years. Kawasaki approached me. 
and I was committed to Suzuki so I didn't want to jump ship and end of last year they said like they weren't prepared to give us the up to date engines uh, so I spoke to Nick at MSS Karasaki and yeah he was buzzing right yeah he was yeah, so here we are. This is MSS Kawasaki that you're running the British Superbike. British Superbike, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's mega. Right. Absolutely. And this is your first time out on yeah. it today, it's, yeah? Uh, it's all about setup. Right. It really is. Uh, Excuse me, one minute. Mr. Johnson, I think you're a spectator. Reginald. We're actually in the middle of a television interview. Sky well, Television. Reg, oh, Reg, Reg, this is live. Reg Blackmore, well, the man who this, puts the meeting together. This is the promoter. Reg, you put on the Not listening. <laughs> He's not listening. Reg, you put a great, great track out there for us. It's been a lot of hard work much. again. Thank you. As always, mate, a lot, you have a lot of guys who, who help you and who work with you, and you guys have all put a lot of guys. Track. And, and young ladies, like the wife. Oh right. Yeah. But uh, there was talk of you, of you giving it up. Is that not going to happen now? Yes. This is the last one. Is that official? This that is the last is one. Definitely official. Sounds like John Iscock now. I'm it? waiting for. I'm waiting for two bypasses. I've got a lot of problems with my diabetes. I had two days in Pilgrim Hospital a couple of weeks ago, and I was doing that. Well, it's, so, uh, it's going to be a shame you're not going to put on such a good meeting, mate. We appreciate the work you've done the last well, week. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. 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 So, that was your first time out in practice. I watched, I watched the practice a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, you're just easing it in? It's all about setup. Yeah. We need to use the rest of the season. Uh, we just need setup. It's, uh, I guess you can't really take them anywhere to practice to practice the setup. No, we've been Kings Lynn. Okay. We've got the facilities of Kings Lynn to like, you know, use the bike through the week. Uh, we'll be going there a couple of times now. Uh, but no, we're uh, we're buzzing about it. It's uh, yeah. It's pretty special. Right. And is it, is it is it a different chassis than the old, than the old yeah, one? Yeah, it's uh, yeah. It's all on the side, it's different. Right, okay. And as a passenger, does that, does that feel much different to the old bike? Is it, is it, is it hard well, to... Well, Jordan's actually stood in, because uh, Ben Schofield, me regular passenger, broke his ankle playing five-a-side football last right, night. Okay. So, Jordan's never rode with me, so new bike, new passenger. Right. It's a big call for Jordan, and he, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's done so good. Mate. No, mega, yeah. mega. And it felt like practice felt all right, everything felt... Yeah, it felt all right, yeah. yeah. You keen? You ready for it? Yeah, ready. Oh, come on, I mean, realistically, what your chances really? are out there today? Or are you, like you say, you're just going to get... No, it's all about set-up. Uh, if I make the start, uh, we've got speed. But I think the boys, if I make the start, I think I'll struggle in the turns. Uh, she's just wild. Yeah? Yeah, we need to tame it. Well... Mega when we do. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I thought one man like you likes something that was wild. Well, you don't very really get me shut off, but <laughs> I had to shut off in practice. Okay. Yeah, she just stand up. Yeah. <laughs> and have you got you got a ride at the Masters this year? Yeah, we're yeah. we're at the Masters. And, uh, well, by then you might have had a bit more experience and a bit more use of the setups on it and things. Yeah, I hope so. So the Masters could be could be a yeah. You could be up on the steps. You hope so? Well, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. There's a lot of quick boys there, and you know it's going to be an old meeting, but. Uh, you know, if we, we, we can sort of fine tune it in the turns, uh, we'll be, we'll be there or thereabouts. I've not got a problem with the, the straight line speed, it's just yeah. silly. Yeah, okay. And this this is your first time with Paul, but yeah, are you yeah, going to stay in until, until these regular passengers fit again, or are you going to... Well, if that's what you want, yeah. Yeah? yeah. So really it's all out here with it? Yeah, no, we're, uh, we've got to see how Ben recovers, Okay. Uh, really. I mean, it's a break. Uh, so yeah, there's a good chance Ben's out till next year. Right. Uh, so I'll give you a chance to maybe pass you at the Masters as well. Then. Yeah, could do. Yeah. So, could do. Well, good. And like I say, you you get used to the setup on the bike and a new passenger. So yeah. maybe by the Masters it will all come together. Yeah. I hope so. Possible. Well, have a great day, guys. And I'll, no, well, absolutely mega. I'll, I'll see you during the season. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Masters as well. Have a good time. Tip top. Tell them, mate. Thank you.
down the back straight again, it's looking down very much long track still. Rolls into that top corner, 40 from the top of the Very, very quick on that top corner, this could well be a very quick turn there for the Thank you. 
around the corner, he comes out from a good line, and he's very quick going down that back face, touching right, going down the back face, then roars into that top turn. He's beat up tighter. Out of the bend he comes.
just long enough for his right down alongside Gallant. Up he gets to the girl in the back straight once again. He's way, way back on that back wheel as Gallant wins. That's the farthest anybody stands back there. And he's still on that back wheel. Now he gets down as he gets into the middle of the corner. Looks to be pretty quick to me. It looked quick, and my word, it was quick. 25.05. 25.05 there for Gareth and Billy Winterburn. That did look extremely quick. And that's exactly what it proved to be. 25.05. Right, next one out here. Good to see him back here with us. Three times winner of the Poacher Multi Masters Champion. Only his second outing of the season in 2015. Uh, Sir Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson, they did have a few problems with the machine in the pits, that's obviously been sorted out, that's great to see, they're able to take their part, so uh, Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson, the penultimate crew to go in this uh, barn record attempt for the 1,000cc sidecars. Away he goes then. Thank you. 
place for the full time. Still Cook holds up second place. Viking has got the third. Arthur could have a new place for Ravley. And Ravley moves inside Arthur. He moves through into fourth place. And Jen Chen gets another new place for the Number six, Ten Lonnie. Number three, Jane James. Seven points. Number seven, Harlan Cook. Six points. Number twenty-five, Zach Brightman. Five points. Number twenty-six, David Ramley. Four points. Number thirty, Scott Cresswell. Two points. And number thirty-two, James Hartley. Three points. One minute thirty-five point three two. One minute thirty-five point three two. The wait time. Side car. Home to them. First seat. Number six, Mark Warren. Number eleven, uh, James and Dave Goo. Number twenty-four, reigning champion Rob Wilson. Number twenty-five, multi champion Colin Blackwell. Number ninety-eight, Joe Martin. Excuse me. Number one eight four, John Scott. So coming to line in for the first seat of the side character, see Mark Warren right on the inside. It's not Colin Blackmore next to him. Then we got John, uh, John Hiscott, then we got Rob Wilson, and the new boys. And while on the inside is Joe Martin, who is going to be the Place taken by number 191, 
Chubby Heath and Kieran Bonner. Cracking on up with Joe Double Winner Ball Simmons and Kevin Woodley. Stephen Carl Blythe, Bobby Wilson, Bradley Sear. Multi winners Rob Bradley, Sean Simpson. And the flying Paul White women, Alan Elliott. So it should be the cracking race number eight. So Mark Simmons then on gate number one, all white and long signing in gate two. Wait for a couple of riders to come out there to fill the other remaining gates. Trevor Heath on gate five. Jeff Wiley on gate six. Rob Bradley were waiting for that. Two eight minutes to come out. Rob Bradley circling the track. We're waiting for as well. So, Robbie Wilson will wait for for this race. So, the riders on the track, Rob Bradley, Sir Glyn Rang, and number 42, Robbie Wilson will wait for to come in. Robbie Wilson on the two minute time allowance for this race. Robbie Wilson on two minute time allowance. Alan Elliott, no points. 
and number 191, Trevahee Kirimbole, three points. 157.90, the winning time, 157.90. Race nine, number four, Peter Lloyd, Fraser Sutherland, number seven, Paul Johnson, Ben Schofield. Number eight, making their debut in the Premier Chair this season, Harry Shearer, Sam Bond, Delete, number 43, and number 48, Rob Winterburn, Liam Brown, and 49, Garrett and Philly Winterburn for an intriguing race number nine. Winterburn has never won this time check, and uh, Garrett and Billy, of course, third, second last year, so intriguing possibilities in race number nine.
30 seconds left, 30 seconds left for race number 10. So that rider by the pitch box is on this two minute time allowance. So the riders now start, start to circle around the track. And the left foot is arriving, we've got problems there by the pitch box. So winner first time out, we've just about beaten the two minute time allowance for race number 10. Van Rock is going to make a good start and that's exactly what he's doing and Cameron Wolf are going to do all this and went off the two mark friction stop in the third place with Daniel Wigan and Joe Stormy inside the move into that third place position then. The Sappleton leads are coming to that top corner for the first time. Second and third places, with a hanging on to the fourth place, Richard. 
Where we go in with race number 13 and five is her away from the eight to leave the leader going to the back side of five James Watson jumps him in second place comes alongside five but five again back way on the outside wide holds that second place Richard coming into that top corner for the first time and it's in his first field of back to five Just a four, I thought we were back in third place. It's storming away the front end and right on in that second place. Five first on the third, Miller Chap is in four. Five yet is in fifth place. That's the top five then. So the other up top four and once again there. It's good to be Coming out of 